Hello YouTube. We're making reduced sugar black cherry jelly using Pomona's pectin. If you haven't tried the Pomona's pectin yet, I advise you to try it. It really is a good product. It doesn't require the full amounts of sugar combined with the pectin for the jelly to be nice and firm. You can even go the no sugar added using concentrated grape juice or concentrated apple juice no sugar added. For those who are diabetic this is a way that they can enjoy uh, jelly without having to have all the sugar. You can even substitute honey or sugar substitutes with this recipe. It's really a nice product. Uh, for this today we used Welch's all natural no sugar added black cherry grape. I really liked the taste of it and I thought, man, this would make some good jelly and it really did make some great jelly. Take six cups of that juice and then we added one fourth cup of lemon juice, one teaspoon of butter to keep it from foaming up when it boils, and four teaspoons of the Pomona's calcium water. Be sure to use your directions in the Pomona's Pactin packet for mixing up your calcium water. After it comes to a boil, we took two and a half cups of sugar, that's all the sugar that's in this jelly, and we added the four teaspoons of the Pomona's pectin to the sugar and stirred that up. So when we added that mixture to the boiling water, it was all combined together and congeals very easily. After you brought this sugar in your juice for a boil for two minutes, it's ready, just cut it off and start ladling it into your jars, have your lids hot and ready and be ready to put it right over into your hot water bath canner and your water bath it for an additional 10 minutes. This Pomona's pectin can be bought on Amazon or you can actually go to the website, I'll leave a link below and tell you how to get it in that way. Um, you can buy it actually a in one pound or five pound or larger increments from the Pomona's company but you'll need to mail your check to them they don't have a way to process it online so you will just mail a check in like I did and buy a full pound of it you save about 40 percent of the cost once you water bath canned your your jelly for the 10 minute time period just double a towel on your counter to keep it from coming in contact with something a lot cooler and place your jelly on the towel and then cover it with a towel to keep it out of the draft and let it cool for a full eight to ten hours then take your rings off and label your jelly with what's in it that way you remember six months from now what you got in your jelly uh, that's one good practice that you should do is to label all of your things that you can that way you know exactly when you made it and you know what's in it you know even the sugar content or salt content for those who may have dietary needs please give us a thumbs up for our video and join our channel this is the pressured prepper and I'm out